Nicole Scott here for Netbook News and here we have my new working horse. So this is not a netbook but we do report on 12.5 inch uh, computers because they fall in the ultra portable range. So I'm going to get right in here and I'm actually replacing, so this is the uh, Lenovo uh, ThinkPad X220. Uh, I'm actually replacing my MacBook, uh, not MacBook Pro, my MacBook. Um, well because A it's old and B I'm having I've had enough with uh, Final Cut Pro and iMovie and the fact that you have to import um, everything to Apple's intermediary codec. I mean, um, from what I've seen from like the guys like JKK and Chippy who I tend to go to the trade shows with and uh, edit videos with, I just the idea of having your files automatically there, not having to import them, I mean, that just sounds amazing. All right, so here we go. This is my new machine. So the only thing that this is missing that I am a little upset about is that there is no camera. It would be nice if it had an HD webcam so that I could uh, chat on Skype with people. But I do have my own um, HD webcam without, so I guess I'll get over it. It's the one thing. So this is it. Put that nice matte black finish, no smudge marks. Um, very thin, very thin. So you can see here the fans. Um, I got the high-end Core i5. Um, I can't remember exactly the number on that. Let me just check out the box. It's the i5 2505M. So that is the the high the highest Core i5 you can get, and it, it actually has very few specification changes from the, the Core i7. Uh, this particular i5. Uh, still has hyper threading, um, so we're only actually seeing like 0.1 gigahertz difference for most of the specs uh, between the low end Core i7 and the Core i5. But the big difference is is that with mine, um, I'm going to be seeing really good battery life. Now I did opt for the nine cell batteries. So this is going to make my unit a little bit heavier, um, but whatever. I don't really care. Uh, it, it's going to make all the difference when I'm, when I'm out um, on the show floor editing. So that's 7.74 uh, amperes or 11.1 .1 volts. So this is a 9 cell battery. Very big. So if we put that in, we will see that I will have the battery bump um, on the back. And I have ordered the slice. Um, so there is actually a 9 cell slice that fits onto the bottom uh, of this unit, but it's on back order. And when I head to the Migo conference in San Francisco, I will be picking that up. So this does make it about 4.25 pounds, I think if I remember right. But if we check it out, it's got the matte screen, which is great, great for uh, traveling around. I opted for a no, no fingerprint scanner. I got the... Um, the high-end uh, 350 gigabyte, uh, 7, 7,200 RPM um, hard drive, which I probably will be swapping out for a SSD. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with there. If we take a look at the keyboard, it has it has the great, great Lenovo keyboard, which is why I got this. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the, the nipple, but I mean, I guess we will see because this trackpad is much smaller than what I'm used to. Uh, on my MacBook Pro, so this is this is probably going to be with the biggest adjustment uh, from me moving a Mac to uh, this ThinkPad. But I do love the the 12.5 inch form factor. It's going to make it's a lot more portable. Although the weight wise, with the nine with the nine volt battery, probably will make it um, a little more a little, around the same weight as my Mac. So if we take a walk around the mm -hmm. system. Uh, you see the bump at the back because I got the nine cell. If I got the six cell, that would be that would be flush. Um, here we've got the PSU. We have a fan, more venting, which is good because the high end Core i5 will get hot. This is available in a Core i7, but it is the low end Core i7, which will generate way more heat issues. Uh, so here we have a USB 2.0. Here's the VGA uh, that looks like a SATA. Then we have another USB. That's a monitor. That would be the PCI Express. 
around the front we have two speakers on the bottom. Uh, this would be, I think, the latches for the uh, battery dock, which you see there would be where that would fit in. Around the other side we have a card reader. Now that is a yellow, uh, so that might be USB 3.0. That's usually blue. I'll have to look in to see why exactly that uh, dock is yellow, that uh, port is yellow. Mm -hmm. If you know, mm -hmm. let me know in the comments, that would be great. Ethernet, headphones, and Kensington Keylock. So taking a, sorry, I'm just obsessed with my new computer. As you see, I just opened it. Uh, continuing with the unboxing, we have a manual. So it tells you everything that's in here. Just take a quick look. Yeah, set up instructions, installing the battery pack. You know how to do that. So let's take a look at the PSU. Fairly small. Um, I've seen smaller, but I guess I am used to a netbook um, PSU, but regardless, that could be a little, a little smaller. Um, yeah, so we've got that there. And that actually appears to be it. So all I really got was the battery and my brand new Lenovo X220. Uh, expect a full review from me shortly, and I'll let you know how it stocks up for me going from Apple for an editing machine to uh, a Lenovo as my main working horse while I'm on, well, my main working horse period. So we'll see how this stacks up for video editing with Sandy Bridge. I'm Nicole Scott for Netbook News. Very excited about my new, my new PC. Woohoo!